Don't listen to social uh, media. I've seen all kinds of abuses, as I won't talk. They say they should, they should bring 20 billion every month because somebody don't give me 20 billion. Oh, they say you want a world who contra myself. That's politics. But nobody said this when I was fighting. All of us want to be politically relevant. All of us want to maintain our political uh, structure. Will you allow anybody to just cut you out immediately? Everybody has a base, it's not true. Yes. If you take my base, I will, I'm not politically relevant. Yes, Umwike has almost been completely rounded up in River State by the current governor, Simi Fubara. Since yesterday, when we released the first video on the crisis or the battle of supremacy between these two political actors, so many things have happened. And we are going to bring you up to date with major developments since that fight broke out in public in the public domain yesterday. I will also tell you what we heard from WK that is the cause of this problem. Whether we believe it or not is up to you to judge. But something really, really wrong and terrible is happening between these two individuals. And it's a very strong fight, a dogged fight, because Mwike is fighting a battle of his life. He is in the PDP, but he has a ministerial position in the APC. And the only reason he is relevant is because of the votes in River State. What he did in the last election for President Tinubu and what he is expected to do in coming elections still for President Tinubu because, you know, politicians, they're already looking forward to the second term, which is 2027. And we, as loquacious as he is, have already said after the Supreme Court judgment that Tinubu won in River State and in 2027, he will, all River's people will vote for him again. He's just speaking like if everybody in River State is waiting for Wike to tell them who to vote for and then they will vote for, if actually they voted for Tinubu in the last election. But that being the case, let me give you the developments that have taken place already, and I will end this video by telling you what Mwike said, or the clue he gave as what to the, uh, the problem might be. So yesterday, pa Edwin Clark, the chairman of Pandef, he gave a press conference. In that press conference, he read a prepared speech, and he really was very angry, 90-something years old man. He called wicked names. And according to him, he said in that press conference, not that somebody said, or it was a rumor, he said that Mwike's intention is to force Fubara's deputy to resign after they must have impeached Governor Fubara. They will also force the deputy who is a lady to resign and then to install the Speaker of the State House of Assembly as the governor. This is the allegation of pa Edwin Clark. Soon after, we had also the news that we can have sacked the chief judge of River State which today, um, that Fubara Sack, the chief judge of River State, which Fubara himself today has denied, say he didn't do that. They also said that he sacked all the local government chairmen. And today he gave a press conference saying that he didn't do that. We are not sure what is the reposition until we get more confirmation, then we'll bring it still to you. Then again, a new speaker was elected. You remember that about um, 24 state assembly members sat between 7 and 9 in the morning and then dismissed the majority leader of the House and then agreed to serve impeachment notice on the governor. Before the end of the day, the governor was able to win back 16 out of the 24 assembly members that moved that motion to impeach him to his own side. 
With this 16, he added the six, the eight that remained on his side, and he became 20 something, and they suddenly now elected a new speaker of the state assembly, being the majority leader that the other group removed earlier in the day. What a shifting sand, the things happening so fast in River State. And today also, Fubara pulled out the big stick and he suspended the 94, 95 billion naira Port Harcourt Ring Road awarded by Winke. He just suspended it. And the question is why? You remember that when Winke awarded, awarded this contract, he said that almost 90% has been paid up front. This is a very titanic battle. Why can he suspend such a very important project for the people of River State? And being in the civil servant and accountant general of the state, I believe he was, he knows everything about the money, how everything went, how we get spent, what he spent and all this. And my take on the suspension of this contract is that out of this 95 billion, there must be very good uh, looking after of the governor that I wanted the contract, which is uh, that awarded the contract, which is weak. And now Fubara is saying, like, okay, I'm gonna cut this contract off, renegotiate it, award it myself, and maybe cut out any financial um, benefit or loophole that Winke created for himself. It could be something like this because you can't just cancel a, a, a contract of this magnitude that will change the life of people of River State. A ring road is required in Port Harcourt to ease the traffic and the rest of it. And the question is also, Winke was in River State for eight years. He was called Mr. Project during that period. He was building fly flyovers everywhere, building many roads. Why did he wait? Why did he wait almost three months to his exit as the governor of the state to award such an important contract? He didn't award it in his first term. He didn't award it in his the first three years of his second term. He waited to the last year and a few months to his going to award this contract. That speaks volume as to why this happened, uh, why he awarded the contract, and why Fubara had to cancel it. I think the financial burden is also very huge for you to leave over to a new government. And if you say that you have paid 90% of it, I can't see where you award such a contract in Nigeria and you pay 90% upfront. Now, apart from what is happening in River State, there was also protest against Nwike, that the judges were protesting, saying that he should remain in Abuja and not come to rule over a river state. Now, the battle has shifted to Abuja because there was a police commission meeting in Asurok in Abuja, and Fubara was in this meeting because state governors have to attend this meeting. So Fubara they came on behalf of River State, and Mwike was in the same meeting as Minister of the FCT. And two of them could not avoid themselves. They shook hands, they exchanged pleasantries. I don't know what they spoke about. And uh, there was a lot of mingling. You could see that Mwike was agitated. He wasn't relaxed. He's really like somebody with so much burden on himself. You can see it from his face, from his body movement, no matter how much he pretends. But Fubara was very calm, collected. I mean, you could see that he's relaxed. He's like somebody who has the ball on his side and he has all the games up his sleeve that he can unleash any damage on Wike. And Wike is uh, worried about what is going on. And Fubara also was uh, mingling with Obaseki, the governor of Edo State. Remember that this Obaseki had huge problems with Wike himself. They called themselves names during an election in a do state. So it was going very well between uh, Baseki and Fubara. You could see that. What uh, again happened is that um, eventually, the after the um, meeting at the villa, 
There was a press conference or briefing of journalists done by the governor of um, Bauchi State, who is also a PDP governor. And in the process, he mentioned that Tinubu has intervened, tried to solve the matter between Wike and Fubara, using the opportunity of their coming together in that police uh, commission meeting in Abuja. Whether this is true, whether the truth we hold, I don't know. But considering what has happened, I think it will be very difficult to mend this because everybody is now very careful of what is going to happen. Now, Fumike had um, received some people from the NDDC, some major representatives of people from the Niger Delta, so to say, came to um, kind of give him support against what uh, Sheikh Gumi said about his uh, meeting the Israeli ambassador in Abuja and that uh, Abuja belongs to Hausas or Northerners, that he shouldn't be the minister. In the process, we can let a little into what happened. He said that he has had so many things about him demanding billions from the government and doing this and doing that, that he said nothing. You know how he speaks. Say, but this time, the problem is that every politician has a structure and he has his own structure and he's not likely to just leave his structure or somebody to destroy it. So it looks for him, this is a battle over structure. He wants everything to remain the way he left it and Fubara is like clipping away the powers of Winke trying to dismantle the structure and build his own structure. And that is why Winke will fight as much as he could because if he loses that structure in River State, then he's uh, not useful for Tinubu in the future or to Tinubu in the future. So he might likely lose his position. This is what has happened so far. I'm going to stop the video at the moment and later tomorrow again or as the hours go by we will still bring you more updates on what is happening in river states please like this video share it and subscribe and we'll see you in our next updates remain blessed